So what I'm going to work on now is I have to put a skin on the back of these two hanging cabinets. And this is it right here. I want to use factory edge on the bottom and this side. Uh, they don't have any outside corner trim for me. I'm going to assume we're going to get it, but if not, I want those factory finishes, finished edges. Yeah, it's super bright out here. I am going to be making this cut with a circular saw. I do have a panel on sawhorses, on carpet so it doesn't get scratched. What we'll do is a test cut in both directions to see what the finished cut looks like on the other side. The only chip I got is a little bit on the top side there. And like I said, that's going to be covered with scribe. A lot of times microwaves come hooked up or their fan in the orientation to to recirculate the air out the front and not blow it up the the vent i got lucky you can see here this is already set up so i don't have to take the motor out and switch it around this might be a separate video outside of this kitchen remodel but i'll put a few clips of me installing it in the general kitchen remodel uh, video. So what I'll do is I'll pull this microwave down, measure off that line, and get my drill marks up here. Leave this on video and I'm going to go turn the fan on. This is the dishwasher opening. This is where the sink is going to go. This is where our supply lines and plumbing are going to come from. I've already unpackaged a few of the things. We've got a little extension here and some of our mounting brackets. Middle one is going to be your uh, ground and your identified one should be your neutral. The identified one is going to be the one with the ridges on it. I'm just going to give you a close up of what I mean by the ribbed conductor. If you can see here, there's, there's ribs on there. The identified conductor is always going to be a neutral when you don't have any colors. Middle one is going to be the ground. And the smooth one, if you can see that, uh, is going to be the hot. So this is going to go to black, green, and white. So 
we got our washer in place right up to this connection. So we've got the plumbing supply line coming straight out the back. We're just going to push this into that hole that I drilled. Then we have our electrical that goes through that hole. There's one more thing that goes in that hole, and that is our drain tube. I'm going to take a measurement of the narrowest point between the dishwasher and the sink base cabinet. I'm going to make this filler strip one and five eighths. That will give me just a little bit of a buffer to maneuver this around. As you can see this dishwasher flexes quite a bit. I'm going to install this filler strip just like I would uh, any other type of cabinets as far as attaching them together. Uh, just clamp, pre-drill, and screw it together. Pull this out and see how it fits. Right about there is how it's going to look. Not too bad. I've got to put in the tile base. Now that the cabinets are in, I gotta put baseboard all around where the floor meets the wall. And what I do for that is I just take some floor tile and cut it directly in half and I'll be gluing it to the wall. That's what it looks like. They're glued up. I had to shim that one up there. Um, just the cut came out a little bit off. But once we grout that joint, you won't even see that gap. Over here same thing, 